What's going on, my guy? How you feeling, buddy? I'm doing great, man. Um, same thing, different day, just uh, trying to get back on the grind, man. I, I fell off there for a little bit. The last interview we uploaded, you and I, I mean, you and I both know your your dogs are XL bullies. They're, they're not pit bull terriers, right? I don't, I'm not a title type person because when I'm uh, outsourcing with uh, bullies, with what's on my paperwork as a pit bull, like I have a, uh, my, my all my paperwork says for all of my dogs, it says American Pit Bull Terriers, United Kennel Club. People right. have a lot of uh, uh, debate on how UKC are, is allowing these dogs to be registered or whatever. And again, I said, don't kill the messenger. That's how I bought the dogs. That's how the papers came to me that right. day. I didn't register those dogs. Right. So, you know, whoever feels that wh how, whatever name makes them feel good with identifying the dog as, have at it. Please, right. by all means, just do what you need to do to make you feel comfortable because I can tell you I'm comfortable as hell. Right. So however you want to call it, bully, pit bull, you can call it a poodle. But the thing is, is that the dog that's physically in front of me at that point in time is what I really care about. Other people's comments and how critical they get, it's fine. I embrace it all because that means I must be doing something right. Doing something right, you won't. You you will always have haters. If you're doing something wrong, people won't pay attention. Right. So that's well, I how mean, I, I said. I, I said uh, I made a post after the fact, and I was you know, in so many words, just like. Uh, People are going to call things what they're going to call things, you know. Um, we know that the real true, you know, American Pitbull Terrier is a, is a small game fighting dog. But because of the UKC, there is a following. There is a community based on a different, what they call Pitbull. So I, I see where you're coming from. I see where they're coming from too, but I see where you're coming from as well. You know, don't shoot the messenger. My, I just wanted to get your thoughts on it because... Um, I mean, obviously, me personally, I would I would say uh, Marlin's dogs, the whole foundation. I would say I like I'm a fan of his dogs, but I would still call them XL bullies, just me personally. But there was gotcha. a lot of backlash on you know the the word pit bull being thrown around, and I just wanted to know your feelings on it. Well, I mean, I I read a couple of comments too, and what's interesting about life is that the the people who I think I may have read one or two comments where somebody said, I hate this guy. It was, I, I laughed at it because I'm like, they don't even really know me. They don't even know where I'm located. Never met me before, but you managed to generate that amount of negative energy to hate somebody off of a name that you just probably even learned how to really spell the right way. Because it's two different ways people spell bully. They put a Y at the end, they put an IE at the end. Uh, me, my brother, back in the day, um, used to have pit bulls. Now, again, I'm, I'm going to say I've been around this game with the actual pit bull for a quarter century. So I've seen the smaller pit bulls. I've seen the structure. I've seen the size. I've seen people you even use those dogs for fighting. That's something I've been very much against. And um, when I found out that that person was involved in that particular situation, now that was right around the time Michael Vick got in trouble. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if he had bullies, pit bulls. I don't care, but I know they used the smaller version of the pit bull, like the original version of pit bulls. Have been out since the 1800s and the early 1900s. Yeah, the smaller pit bull. I can acknowledge that as being a pit bull because that's the very first thing that I saw as a mm -hmm. pit bull was a smaller version. Mm -hmm. DDK Ellis Bloodline, you know the the, the big name people. Uh, have the the paperwork that says American Pit Bull Terrier on there. To me, the the paperwork is fine because a lot of people chase that paper. I look at the actual dog and what the dog does for me. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of people don't understand. Because if they understood me, they would say they would. I don't get caught up in titles and names. I've never been that type of person. So, from a, a diplomatic standpoint, as far as the answer that I think you try to get or from from me to say what my dogs are, my dogs are whatever you consider them to be. Mm -hmm. I know what my dogs do for me. They protect me. They provide a whole lot of fun and laughter. Right. And my so you know because if if we. 
you can have a, a chihuahua that makes you happy. You know, my dogs make me happy. How you can call my dogs Doberman. I don't care. I'm looking at my foot dog in front of me, and I think that's what a lot of people kind of get away from. They get caught up and it's stumbling blocks from them to move forward mentally in life because they're so caught up in what everybody else is doing and what they may call some something or or whatever identify a, a dog ass. Well, but I mean, I don't, I'll, I'll say like I. I I hear what you're saying, and I agree. My my whole thing has always been: if a man is feeding his dogs, and he's the one providing the dog food and caring for the dogs correctly, then um, I don't I don't really think it's anybody's business. That that's the one side. And then on the other side, I mean, I hear what they're saying. A, a lot of these guys are traditionalists, and um, and I know a, a lot of game dog guys, and they. Um, and to them, it's it's like kind of like blasphemy, you know what I mean, to say the word pit bull if it, if it's not like, you know, a, an American pit bull terrier bloodline of old. Um, I did think I had an idea at one point to, um, you know, approach a lot of the registries, you know, and maybe think, okay, just to put everything to bed, can we can we start separating things that's fine because at the end of the day after all they they finally get it corrected they get everything straightened out the project that i'm right now the things i'm doing eric i, I talked to you a little bit before the interview about it mm -hmm. that's that's where my life is right now mm -hmm. so I, I would love to see the follow-up comments from this particular interview because i i, I just got I, I was in awe and shock how like serious people really really take that portion they're focused on the wrong thing to me mm -hmm. because again they're, they're killing a person who number one never even labeled the dog number two went out and sought the dog that he wanted and once he got the registration from the paperwork he was fine with it so if i'm fine with it why do you care right that, yeah. that's the whole messed up thing about life is that a lot of people's focus are not in the right direction and they're in everything else except their own personal life. And if you put that mirror in front of them, check this out. You put that mirror in front of them, they have absolutely nothing to hang their hat on. Nothing. But they're very critical of other people's lives. I'm fine with that because w when you deal with people like that, you kind of ignore them and you continue to move up and the hate continues. I'll have more people hate, and it's fine. I embrace it because that means, ta-da, I'm doing something right. I respect that. I have a few celebrities, like big time celebrities. Once this is starting to be revealed, it'll. I, I won't be able to keep it low key. I won't be able to keep the secrets because there are two major, super major celebrities who may jump on board very soon, sooner than you think. One of them already wants a puppy. Mm -hmm. He already wants the puppy. He made it made it very clear. Actually, it's two of them that really want a puppy. Now, this other one is a retired NBA player, and everybody in the entire world knows him. One is a rapper. He is the number one rapper as you see on all the commercials and stuff yeah. nowadays. That that's when you know it start gaining a little bit more relevance in the right direction than people trying to figure out what they want to call the dog my my life is so much on a different level to focus more on how can pr we produce a, a gorgeous looking puppy that somebody's gonna love because i'm changing people's lives eric one puppy at a time when i gave chub rock got a puppy from me yesterday old school rapper flew down that line and dropped the puppy off he's the gatekeeper that's making a whole lot of this stuff happen and so when he got his puppy Man, I didn't get off my airplane flight home before he already sent me a video of him and his puppy and, you know, just thanking me again. And see, that's what it means to me. Mm -hmm. That That's what it's all about. Make it happy, one, happy homes one puppy at a time. Because if you're dealing with the, the, the name calling or whatever, your, your, your energy, your positive energy that you could be using to catch something out the corner of your eye that would make your product better, make your kennel and your business better, you miss that mm -hmm. because you hate what's going on in front of you so much. You driving so much negative energy that you can't even see the other blessings that are around you because you, 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 you ruined it for yourself.